Hi YouTube! In today's video I want to show you how to access the I2C bus in GNU slash Linux by using the programming language C. And for this purpose I came up with the following setup. Here I have my Raspberry Pi 3 and I've connected this GPIO expander over I2C to it. And here I have a button and an LED and I want to control these by using I2C from Linux. I have connected the LED to GPIOA bit 0 and the button to GPIOA bit 1. But before I start writing the program, let's look at the datasheet of this GPIO expander. So I'm using a MCP23017 from Microchip. And one important thing you have to know is how to access the inter this chip. And for this purpose, this chip offers us a memory map, which we can see down here. So every register has an address assigned to it. For example, at address 0 we have the um, input-output direction um, register of GPOA. And if we want to write to this register, we have to do an I2C write, which first writes out the address we want to write, which is zero in this case, and the next thing we will write out is the value for the register itself. And if we want to do a read, we first have to write out the address, and then we can do an I2C read and read the value of the register on this address back. So the important registers I will use in this video is the direction register, at address 0, if I set it to 1, it's an input. If I set it to 0, it's an output. Then I will use the output latch GPOA register, over which I can control the state of the LED. Um, then I will use the GPOA register at address 12 here, hexadecimal, which um, gives us the current value of the GPIO bag. So if it's an input, I can read the button state bag. If it's an output, I can read the current state of the output bag. Okay, but before I start, I will um, take a look at my I2C bus to find the address of my device. So I will use the function I2C detect here. And I want to scan bus one because the Raspberry Pi only has one I2C bus. And here I can see this GPIO expander has the address 20 hexadecimal. And I will use a header file and if you and you can install this header file by installing the libiscorc.dev or at least on Raspbian this is a command you need if you have another distribution with your Raspberry Pi or if you're using a BeagleBone with another operating system yeah, just search on the web which how this library is called on your particular distribution. I will create a new file. I will call gpox.c for GPO expander. And the first thing I have to do is I have to include some header files here. So standard IO, standard lib, standard int, Unix standard function control. The next is important because I have to use IO control, so I include this IO control. And the next one is Linux slash um, I2C dev.h. This is the header file we have installed with the previous command. Now let's create a main function with my argument count and my arguments. So I have argument list here. This variable will contain the file descriptor of the um, device descriptor from my device file. And here I have an array of two bytes for my data, which I will read out or write out here. So for opening the bus, I will use the open function and I have to open the device for dev i square c minus one and I will open it with, with read and write permissions. 
if this value is less than zero, an error occurred for opening um, I score C plus, and I will exit my program with minus one here. And now I will, but if not, I will set the slave address. For this, I will use IO control. My file descriptor is i square c bus. The command is i square c slave. And the argument here is the address of my i square c slave. And if this value is smaller than zero, an error occurred. Error setting slave address. Okay. But if not, we can now access the bus. The first thing I will do is I will um, set the GPIOA's direction. For this, I have to write to register zero. And I will write the value FE, hexadecimal, which will set all GPIOs from GPIO port A to output, but GPIO A0 will be our output. No, sorry, wrong way around. Um, all GPIOs of GPIO A will be inputs, but GPIO 0 will be an output. So, and now I write, I, I just use the write function, I will write to my I square C bus file descriptor and I will write out two, the two bytes of my data array here. And if this value is not equal to to an error occurred. I forgot to close the file descriptor here. So I will just copy these lines here, paste it in here, error writing to I score C bus. Okay. But normally no error should occur here and now we can set the LED state. So here Let's check if we have an argument passed to our function. So if the argument count is bigger than zero, I will, my data one will be the first argument converted to an integer. And if this is bigger than zero, I will set the LED. And if I haven't passed an argument here, I will leave the um, LED zero. But before writing um, the value, I have to write out the address, which is 14 hexadecimal in this case. And now I can just copy these lines here. Yeah, and we have successfully set the value of the LED here. Okay, and now let's read the button's state. Okay, um, first write out the address. So the first thing I have to do is I have to write out the address. So let's copy these lines here and up here. Data zero is 12 hexadecimal. And here we only want to write out one byte. Let's read address value back. And for reading, I will use the read function. And I only will read one byte. Error reading from I square C bus. Okay, and now let's print out the value here. Button is data zero. And one shifted by one, bigger than zero. If this is the case, I will print out button is pressed. And if not, I will print out not pressed. Okay. And I forgot the comma here. Okay. If we are done, we have to close our file descriptor and we can return with zero. Okay, so much for the program. Now let's, I will try to compile and run it. 
So let me just compile it. Okay, Linux. Uh, 2.h, this is bad. We only need one. Let's try it again. Okay, it's, it looks good. So let's execute our program binary and type a one here. So <coughs> the button should be not pressed and the LED should light up. So the LED is on, the button is not pressed. Now we'll press the button and set the LED to, to zero. Yeah, now it prints out the message button pressed, LED is now zero. Yeah, so we have successfully accessed the I2C bus on GNU slash Linux in the programming language C. So that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video and learned something. Thanks for watching and goodbye.